Adding the 100 watt KPA4 to your 10 watt K4/10 is a straightforward process. It requires a number 2 Phillips screwdriver and about 10 minutes of your time. The KPA4 is installed in 6 steps. We remove the top cover, we pull the PA jumper board, we install the KPA IO4 board, then we plug in the KPA4 itself, reinstall the top cover, and then enable the KPA4 in the K4's menu. Your installation kit had two PC boards and five machine screws. The first step is to remove the top cover and unplug the speaker lead. We remove the PA jumper and set it aside. Install the KPA IO4 board in the same sockets that used to hold the PA bypass jumper. Use one of the 440 machine screws to secure the KPA IO4 board. Plug in the KPA4 module heatsink up. Make sure all four PC board mounting holes are aligned with the threaded holes in the aluminum bracket. The next step is probably best performed sitting down. Look through the fan openings on the rear panel and confirm that all of the pins in the KPA4 are properly aligned with the sockets of the KPA IO4. Next, Insert and tighten the four machine screws holding the KPA4 to the mounting bracket. Now we reinstall the top cover. First, plug in the speaker cable. Then, align the top cover with the radio and press into place. Install the machine screws. The final step is to power on the K4 Open the menu item named KPA4PA option and change this to Enabled. Exit the menu. Advance the front panel transmit power control above 10 watts and your 100 watt K4 is ready for operation. We'll see you on the air.